Today we are going to look at the Actuator Programmable GUI, or APG. This software has been developed to eliminate the need for our users to have background knowledge in programming and PID controllers by integrating predetermined parameters directly, allowing the user to confidently execute motion, force, and cycle commands. The APG software applies to 90% of SMAC's moving coil applications, making it an incredibly versatile and user-friendly piece of software. The APG software is equipped with a wide range of user-selected variables such that one may have a precisely tuned controller for their unique application, all performed with great ease. Some of these variables include orientation, payload, and spring type. For orientation, you can select from horizontal to vertical. For payload, you can choose 0 grams, 50 grams, 100 grams, and for certain models, 300 grams. For the spring type, you can select from none, to full return, to counterbalanced. As you can see, the first step in the process is to establish connection between the software and the controller, and you can use that check button to see that connection is in fact ready. The next step is to select the model specifics for the actuator you wish to control. From there, you'll enter your force specifications based on your application, then save the program into the controller. Once you hit Save Program, you'll notice in the data window it specifies data loading. This may take up to one or two minutes. Although the PID settings are predetermined based on user-selected inputs, they will be displayed in case the user wishes to make changes to these default settings, which will be discussed in more detail later. Once the program has finished loading into the controller, you'll want to select Homing, which homes the actuator. The next thing that you'll want to do is check your PID settings. This will run a program that does an overshoot test, which can be visually displayed later by selecting Graph once it's finished completing. Once you've graphed this overshoot test, you can decide if you have the correct PID settings for your application. Moving on to the Motion Settings section, you can choose up to three positions for the cycling process. You may also choose the velocity used to reach a given position, expressed as a percent of the maximum velocity, as well as the time to wait at that position before proceeding to the next position. Another feature in the Motion Settings section is Incremental Motion, which can be set to 1mm or 5mm. Once you're happy with your cycle profile, go ahead and select Load, which will load all the parameters into the controller. As always, you'll want to Home first. Another feature of the APG software is the ability to see the profile of the cycle that you have created. Once you've selected Profile, you'll notice that your actuator will have intermittent motion as it's calculating the cycle that you've programmed into the controller. Once you notice that the data has finished loading in the data window, you may then select Graph to see an updated profile of the cycle you created in Motion Settings. After selecting Homing once again, you are now ready to cycle the profile that you've created by selecting Start. If needed, one can select Pause or Continue to pause the cycling process without losing the cycle count number. You may also select stop if you need to abort motion and shut off the actuator. Another feature in the APG software is incremental motion, where you can go plus or minus one or five millimeters. In this instance, we're choosing one millimeter increments, which you can see the actuator responding to now. Another useful feature included in the APG software is the use of our proprietary softland function. Here you can select the amount of time and amount of force that you want to softland and then push with. From there you save that into the controller and once that's finished we can proceed with our softland and push. Upon selecting the softland button the actuator will softland at the first obstruction, output what position and counts the actuator has reached and will remain there and standby for the push function. 
Selecting push will apply the specified force in grams for the specified amount of time in milliseconds selected in the soft land force section. This concludes our overview of the APG software.